this is a verbatim piece, so it's, um, it's, it's not written to be a play. Uh, it's edited to be a play, and so uh, my first concern was, okay, how, did, how do we dramatise that? I mean, obviously it's been very well put together in order to have a kind of narrative arc. It begins with her in, uh, at home in, in the US and ends with her in uh, Rafa in Gaza in Palestine. Um, so the, there is an, a narrative there, but it was, well, how, how do you turn diary writing into the present, how do you keep it in the moment? I think something that's really fascinated me through the rehearsal process has been um, for myself trying to understand if, if she was just born with somebody with extraordinary perspective on the world or if her family relationship was such a strong one that she felt confident enough to look out into the world. We're in the Stalls studio space, which is a small, intimate space, um, and the story is uh, epic in that it's placing one young woman in this huge landscape of uh, conflict. The text is quite dense because a lot of it's diary writing and she's a, and Rachel Corey was a poet and so there's a quite dense elements to the to the language and we've just both of us really got our hands in there and, and yeah got got muddy with the text and, and, and brought it to life. And it's never been too intense. I mean, maybe we've both enjoyed it being tense and when it does get a bit crazy we just start dancing around. To Pat Benatar. Yeah, it is. It is a political play. It's um, definitely a play for people who are interested in political conviction, people who, ha who are politically minded. Um, it's definitely a play for people that are curious about, you know, why do people risk their lives for strangers, for others? And I think this play really charts somebody who wants to, to think in those terms. It's a virtuosic performance by Mari Phillips. It's extraordinary. The play deals with something that we all, at some point or another, in a macro or a micro way, have um, had to deal with injustice. 